Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on conductivity of ionic solutions. In this tutorial, we will learn to measure conductivity and calculate the resistance of ionic solutions. Here I am using XPICE version 3.1.0 Ubuntu Linux OS version 14.04. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with XPICE Junior interface. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Let us first define conductivity of a solution. Conductivity of a solution is a measure of its ability to conduct electricity. Conductivity of water is directly related to the concentration of ions dissolved in it. Now we will demonstrate conductivity of tap water. I will explain the circuit connections. A1 is connected to sine. Wires from sine and A2 are dipped in glass tumbler containing tap water. 10K resistor is connected between A2 and ground. This is the circuit diagram. Let us see the result on the plot window. On the plot window, click on A1 and drag to CH1. A1 is assigned to CH1. Click on A2 and drag to CH2. A2 is assigned to CH2. Move the millisecond per division slider to adjust the waves. Two sine waves are generated. Black trace is the original sine wave. Red trace is conductivity of tap water. Click on CH1 and drag to fit. Click on CH2 and drag to fit. Observe the voltage and frequency values on the right side of the window. Notice that voltage of tap water is very less compared to the input voltage. Right click on CH1 to see voltage and phase difference in degree. Now we will measure conductivity of copper sulphate solution. To make the solution, one spatula of copper sulphate is dissolved in 100 ml of water. In the same connection, wires from sine and A2 are dipped in copper sulphate solution. On the plot window, we can see the conductivity curve. Red trace is conductivity of copper sulphate solution. Increased conductivity is due to copper and sulphate ions present in the solution. Observe the voltage and frequency values on the right. Right click on CH1 to see voltages and phase difference values. Now we will measure conductivity of dilute sulfuric acid solution. A few drops of dilute sulfuric acid are added to water. Wires are dipped in sulfuric acid solution. Let us see the result on the plot window. Observe that black and red traces are almost coinciding with each other. Conductivity of tap water has increased on adding a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid. Observe the voltage and frequency values on the right. Right click on CH1 to see voltages and phase difference in degree. We will measure conductivity of dilute potassium hydroxide solution. A few drops of dilute potassium hydroxide solution are added to tap water. We can see that black and red traces are almost coinciding with each other. Notice the increased conductivity of tap water on adding a few drops of potassium hydroxide solution. Observe the voltage and frequency values on the right side of the window. Right click on CH1 to see voltages and phase difference in degree. Using the voltage values, we have calculated the resistance of ionic solutions and tabulated the results. Resistance value for tap water is 7.7 .7 kilo ohm. Resistance value for copper sulphate solution is 1.2 kilo ohm. Sulfuric acid solution is 0.17 kilo ohm. And potassium hydroxide solution is 0.14 kilo ohm. Notice that resistance value decreased with the increase in ionic concentration. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to measure conductivity and 
calculate the resistance of ionic solutions. As an assignment, using sodium hydroxide, acetic acid and sodium chloride solutions, measure conductivity and calculate the resistance of ionic solutions. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Kaushik Datta and Madhuri Ganpati. Thank you for joining.